saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I think we should run now while we can. Run? To where? There are demons everywhere in Midgant. We have nothing to worry about. My brother Arthur can protect the ball. Arthur, huh? They say he used to be one of those exorcists who could control Malachim. And only exorcists can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So have all the swindlers who pose as exorcists to con honest folk out of their gold. Hey! Arthur isn't like that! If he was a real exorcist, why didn't he protect Celica when the demons attacked? That's because... Luffy and I... we... Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted into our village one day. We don't know anything about his past. Then you must think we're outsiders too. Our parents weren't from here either. Uh, back to business. We need to deal with these demons. You're right. We've got to defend our village ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming about exorcists and Malachim for when we're asleep. hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Celica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike.
This area looks promising.
enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Piggle Boar? Yeah, Piggle Boar! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. This place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense.
Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? Maxim 3, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle! Anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think- I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. 
Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When is it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh, of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. 
We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No, thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them.